Game on. Hey there, game gurus. Here in Philadelphia, it's a beautiful sunny day. And we're getting ready to start the expo here at Too Many Games. We see people all lined up to get in. Going around the corner. It's not quite Star Wars, but hey, to some people this is. So it actually turned out it wasn't too bad a drive, about uh, almost three hours to come down here from New York. And uh, it is an absolute beautiful day. I already met a bunch of nice people here. And uh, I got my son Cole, he's inside uh, with my friend Jeff. And we are ready to start rocking the show. And uh, we have three days here, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope, <laughs> meet a lot of good people. And hopefully everything goes as planned. So I'm running back, Cole just give me the four minute warning. A text just came up to Dad, it's four minutes, I gotta start coming in. So I can get myself back over there right now. And we have people dressed up coming in. Say hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and uh well, let's get started. Here we go. All right, and you can see the vendetta here. It's, it's pretty much all the vendors are kind of set up right now, but they're still last minute things. Uh it took me a while to get everything operational, and uh, there's some good stuff here. I know my friend Jeff, I pointed out there was a Vectrex going for 450 bucks, and he already picked it up, so I didn't get a chance to blink. I can't tell him anything anymore. Uh, we have RetroWare here, and RetroWare is here showing up some of their games. A couple of fun games over here, for sure, and people sitting down to play their games. The Angry Video Game Nerd game. And of course, Retro's Toxic Crusaders, based off of the movie that I was in. That's a very small person, but that's okay. Toxic Crusaders. And uh, we can see that we are literally right in front. My son is actually cold. I'm surprised. But when you come in, these are the main entrances right here. As soon as you walk in, boom, we're right there. So hopefully, we'll see you guys soon. So, so what? So what do you think of uh, the gun? You know, it's great. <laughs> All right, that's when we press cut now. I'm, no more questions. <laughs> I love how solid it feels and like it's a pretty good system so like I mean I find that like there's not a lot of ways to like bring back the kind of the light gun kind of arcade um, and knowing that this exists it's kind of awesome to see the possibilities of like playing this in my living room and actually playing time prices and stuff like that that's like one of my favorite like gun series, you know, I love how corny and action packed it is. So it's pretty sick. It's awesome. I also did the little thing. We do this in Cabela's. I do that all the time. I'm a big cheater, and it works. So you know, I mean, no complaints. Hey everyone, I'm here at the Philadelphia Game Expo. I met John just a few minutes ago. And John, why don't you tell me what you have over here? I, I, my friend Jeff said, Glenn, you got to see this. And I'm really excited. Tell me what you got over here. So a little over a year ago, I started a company called Hey Dorks Furniture. I build storage and display furniture inspired by retro arcades. Uh, custom colors, custom trims, uh, plastic tea molding, and three quarter inch cabinet grade birch plywood. So it's, it's lightweight yet durable so that you get a display case that isn't like what you can buy in a big box store. I'm a custom furniture builder, and this is what I do. I have display cases in a bunch of different sizes, five heights, four depths, from seven inches deep to 20 inches deep, so that you can hold your CRTs or your cartridges or anything in between, record collection, whatever you collect, 
I've got a cabinet for it. The consumer picks the paint color that they want, the trim color from 16 types of T-molding. If you get anything with a joystick, I work with you to, to pick out the controllers that you want, the control panels, the artwork, all of that as well. I have vertical monitors, horizontal monitors with speakers or without. I like how you did the monitors too. Like you're using T-molding. T-molding. To go on with the monitor area. To trim area. out the monitor, yes, so that it matches the whole look of everything. Oh, um, it's really, I just cut my, you also have acrylic covering the controllers yes, as well. Yeah. Yeah. A, a, acrylic screen printed uh, marquees. Sorry, give me a second here. Aha, the secret compartment. So, you so the marquees light you up. You can't tell with the super bright oh, you overlight. See over but here, we can I've see. Got a, yeah, I've got light a light marquee. in here. Yeah. But this has got me more excited than it has over here. And then a light in here. So this is, this is a monitor that I call the rotor. It plays horizontal and vertical. 4-3 aspect ratio, 19-inch retro arcade games. At the switch of a button, you can change the cabinet settings from horizontal to vertical, and then you're playing vertical arcade games. I see a nice GRS enhancement coming for that. Powered. I'm going to look into that. But little, so little servo these are assume all custom made, right? Some of they do yes. it. How long does it take between placing an order and at, are these shipped? At this moment, yes, I'm, I'm shipping. Um, I'm outside of the Philadelphia area. Um, I'm currently shipping two week, within two weeks of purchase. Probably at the end of the show, it'll go up a little bit higher. I expect you know, some volume to come at the end of every show. That kind of happens. And then um, turnaround is usually quick. I communicate with the, with the buyers so that they know what they can have. And uh, I, you said it's customizable. Is there, I mean, first of all, these are just blowing my mind. Yeah. When I was a kid, you know, you always had that bookshelf in the house. You had, you know, your cartridges or your statues or your trophies on it. And you can still do that. Now, I know there's some people now making machines that mount to the wall and they're metal. I, I personally, I don't think they're attractive at all. I wouldn't want that in my house. But this, I can see this in my kid's room. Hell, my room. But these really do look furniture slash artwork, basically. And you can customize pretty much set any controller in here. Yes. Um, I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have him coming on kicking old school one day. So we'll talk more in depth about this. But I grabbed this card, and I think you guys should check out uh, your website. You want to yeah. tell me your website real yeah. quick? Haydorksfurniture.com. Haydorksfurniture.com. Yep. Right over here. Haydorks. Right make, make sure it's on over here. Uh, go a little over to the side, right there. Bang. So uh, I think this is really cool stuff. This is the coolest thing I've seen so far. And there's a lot here. But right now, there's the first one that made me jump away from my booth to come over here. So, John, thank you very thank much. You. Really appreciate right. it. And we'll be back. So, we have the one. And only RGT85. What's up? Over here, trying out the GRS Tinden Target Pro. It's really good. Like, I can see it with, like, House of the Dead. Because I got the, uh, I got a Tinden at home. This, this feels kind of deep here. I'm going to tune you in. No, no. Here we go. Now we can hear you. What game is this? Uh, Egypt. What is this? Uh, Maze of the uh, King. Maze of the Pharaoh or yeah. something like that. I'm not familiar with this, but it's a Sega game, John. It is a Sega game. And you're a Sega guy. Yeah. Multiple routes and stuff. Okay, so it goes, you go into the area. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's go. No, 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 no. Yeah, if you want to, you can try the other thing. We yeah. also have the Akari Star Wars sticks. Yeah, it's made in the candy. So the Target Pro is based. I have a partnership with Sindin Technologies. Yeah. But we use real wood, industrial plastic. It's a camera. The good thing about it is that since it's uh, camera based. There's no sensors around the screen, so you can literally go, if I have an HDMI splitter, you go from TV to TV to TV, there's no recalibration. The camera just looks at the TV screen. Oh, okay, 
I wouldn't sell it for the next Well, no, because I played on the retro shooter. The retro shooter is not a game Correct. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That looks familiar. Oh, but it's over. What you do is coin is going to be over here. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I hide the buttons. Take maybe one step back. There you go. I like it. It feels really good. And I like the bump action on it. The, it it's What do you think? I, the, the feedback is good, like when you actually like, it has a... Yep, we have a, a large solenoid in here. Um, but again, wood, it feels weighted. It feels legitimate, yeah, it's right. not like a plastic... And the accuracy, toy. what do you think about that? It, it was pretty much spot on. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's, that's nice experience. That's awesome. Yo, man! Holy oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we made it! I don't know. You guys. Awesome! Yeah. Dude, you, you made it, man. You're on the badge. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's crazy. He didn't So I gotta ask, what did you think about the Sindin Targa Pro? Yeah, I, I really like it. It's like, you know, it's got the way I feel like y'all feel like I'm playing at the arcade. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think, I, think, I think it's a good product. Nice! I, I would buy it. I'm here with Michael, and Michael like, apparently does use some of my stuff. And the son of the arrow is uh, kicking some ass here. My nephew. Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nephew. Woo! Marcus. Oh my God. Marcus, look at the camera. You're going to be on YouTube. Yeah. All the way on YouTube. So, how do you feel about stuff? Did you own your car? Oh, I, I have most of the product up here. The next thing I want to purchase is more of these. Uh, I would like to get the Viper, you know, I want to become an expert on using the Viper, programming it with the arcade you were mentioning. Correct. Yeah. So I just can't wait to get the IR arcade. Uh, I tell you, that, I, the IR arcade now has become my favorite yes. machine to use. Yes. Between the controllers, the quality of itself. Yeah. Uh, big time. The good thing right now is I'm flying to the show. I'm saying, yeah. I got my tag back there. Big sales, Bill Gates, big percent off. Uh, for uh, $49.99 instead of $99.99. And Joe Sabos, who's doing the sale and artwork, is 20% off. Is he here? But he's close, that's fine. Yeah, I, I, I come here almost every year. I've never seen him. 
this I think the heart worth like twenty percent off on July first. So if you might sell this deal, you'd be under hundred dollars with it. Wait, so I can get this here today? Like I don't sell I don't, oh, okay, I, don't okay. I never sell, I don't do high pressure sales. But yeah. QR code, go there and you can uh, Yeah, because that one does sell. So we have a family here <laughs> digging some Akari Warriors and the GRS Super Stick right here. I want to play. Look, look, look over here, Marcus. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wait till wait till Marcus sees it. Well, it seems better on a wide screen, on a bigger screen. Like All right, so I'm here with the Vader. The Vader is here today, and he told me he just purchased it online. He didn't try it yet, oh. so he's trying it now, trying to get his real-time feedback and what this he thinks. Is just beautiful. The weight on this, this feels like a real shotgun. I ordered it last night. I, what? This is incredible. Don't be gentle. Don't be gentle. I'm not any good at this one, but this is actually amazing. The aim is right on. The weight, though, I can't believe the weight. Reload function. Oh, I love this. I don't know. Questions? This is what I was going to do. Do you have a little time to uh, try it? What do you think? Yes. Oh, well. Love it. The, the weight of it, the accuracy, I, I'm so happy I ordered it. it. It's like holding a real gun. It, it really is. It, it's amazing. I am insane. I'm afraid you, you, you have to do yourself. I'm at uh, Too Many Games 2024, sponsored by Glenn, Godfather of Gaming. I've seen him on YouTube, now I'm seeing him in real life. We're trying to get him to come down to Washington, D.C. and see what a real retro gaming store is all about. Come take a look at Dice City Gaming. We like to say, play a better world. What do I like? You play like Easy Arms. Who doesn't love Star Saints? Zelda. We need to put a, a guy bought the PS2 game right out of the ground. Um, let me show you around this way. I love retro, so we start out in 8 bit. You can see I'm a big Hudson Soft fan, so Bonk, Adventure Island, all that good stuff, Bomberman. A lot of NES, SNES, Genesis. You gotta love the CIB. I always leave with a Hudson Soft game in every. We got sealed stuff, a lot of goodies. N64, sealed boards, well curated, tons of goodies. And you can see in the booth, graded games, Neo Geo. We just sold a Panasonic Q, and we got a VIC-20 up there, nice box Saturn, Pikachu, N64, sold the U.S. blue one. Might have been the next one. A little more goodies in here. A little bit of turbo, PC engine, Saturn. I love stuff like this. Over here we have a Vectrex for the people to play. I got two of these bad boys. I'm telling you what, I love it. Box Vectrex, don't see them in the wild or anything. That's fair. A lot of cool consoles. Some of them new in box, some of them green box. Yeah. This is kind of cool. Yeah, I thought yeah, so. Check those bad boys out. This is a box of the original uh, Pokemon set, base set. Down to two packs left in the box. Uh, this is kind of cool. Mario White Edition. Was rumored to be released for uh, the U.S. Never was. Only released in the United Arab Emirates. It's in English. It's like a Dubai edition. I love the Gucci style. Mario. A lot of fun box games. All kinds of retro. Some cool goodies, and we do Pokemon. If you're into this stuff, some crazy stuff. Your original packs. That's a five thousand dollar gem PSA ten. Red Chicks Pikachu Shadow is first edition. Battle of Genesis Switch Famicom. If anyone knows Beat Takeshi, he was an awesome comedian and actor in Japan. He was in a lot of Hong Kong action films and cult films. He had his own crazy game on the Famicom. I love stuff like this. 
AV model, original 1983 launch Famicom with the power supply. A lot of goodies. When we sell something cool, like a rare concept, we replace it with a refrain. But that's us. Come check us out. We're in Washington, D.C. Tons of goodies. And maybe one day, a little cabinet from Lennon Friends. Peace. Peace. Okay, this is what it's about. Passing on these type of controllers to the next generation. And he does better than I'm playing it. He does better than I play. There you go. A shot. Got him. Line those arrows up right on the green fighters. I see them in China. There you go. So I gotta, I gotta ask you, how do you feel about that? How does it feel? It feels nice. It works really well. The way to it makes me feel like how can be a version of that? Yep. The big thing, yeah. My big thing is the controls. When you play these games, they're great. But if you don't have the right control for the game, that's a problem. So I'm very big on controls. That's my whole. That's my whole shtick, yeah. if you will. Yeah. So how do you feel about them right now? I like them a lot. I think this is a, it's a great piece of hardware for you know using Raspberry Pi and having the ability to have this run on your counter a very clear LCD screen makes it just a really pick up and play type of deal. And the good thing about it is even if you have a Raspberry Pi sitting at home, it makes it forty nine dollars, it makes a great case. Yeah. Just to put it in and have some hardware, to have it displayed, even in passive experience where you're not doing anything with it. Hi, I'm Josh. Uh, I work here at Forgot Freshness. We're located in Mechanicville, New York. Uh, we've been doing this for almost twenty years now. Uh, we love doing, you know, just crazy stuff with games. We have tons of stuff. We love seeing all the weird stuff. We love seeing all the classics. We like seeing the new stuff. We like seeing, you know, kids come in, getting excited about stuff. It it's, makes us feel good. It makes us feel nice to have that kind of thing, the community, all that stuff. We love too many games, obviously. <laughs> um, and we have too many of them. Our table is way too big. <laughs> We've got way too much. But he doesn't love to put it. We love being here. Everyone's coming out. So, quick question. I see yeah. you have a lot of systems here. How long have you guys been in business? Uh, so, just shy of 20 years. Uh, the owner, Frank, he's shopping around right now, but he started um, working with his mom. His mom had a candy shop. He would come bring games, you know, a couple odds and ends, something crazy. Got really into it. Bought his own storefront. Moved from there. And he's been in the new storefront now for about nine years now. And he's been loving it ever since then. Thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate absolutely. it. Thank you. Now I'm going to ask, how do you think the gun feels so far? It's awesome. I, I can't believe it's actually working so well on a, uh, what do you call it, LCD TV. I didn't even know that was possible. It's the best part is no sensors, no setup, just plug and play. So what do you think of it? This is awesome. I like that idea. But, um, you get that same aspect ratio as in the arcades. Hey, how you doing? I'm Aleem. This is my second year of ending at TMG. It's a great event. I love, love the event. One of my favorite events in the country. We have some amazing stuff to offer, I think. I would like to see. We got stuff all the way from Atari, Fusion, PS5 stuff, some crazy items in my display cases. 
This game costs more than my Hopefully, I get to meet all of you soon. It's really clear. Moon stick. Progress. That's adorable. That is the cutest so fast. It's so sweet. Hey guys, uh, Joshua Schwartz here, uh, CEO of uh, Premium Edition Games and Gamers for Gamers. Uh, we're here at Too Many Games, uh, spreading the good word of uh, physical media. <laughs> and um, uh, we have our, uh, we brought all our titles. That's one of the big things that for me, uh, I'm very big into preservation of older games and controllers. So that's kind of what you're doing, right? You're making sure that these old games aren't lost in the sands of time. Because so many games now are downloadable, right? That's kind of what you're focusing on? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. See, what we do at Premium um, is we will wait. We're, we're, we're a Switch and PS4 and PS5 uh, publisher and soon Xbox. Um, we, we will wait until a game is fully complete so that we can preserve the game 100%. All updates, all DLC, everything. So at that point... If the servers went offline and PlayStation is history, Xbox history, they could still, as long as the machine works, pop in a disc and it would run. It doesn't have to download everything. Everything's already That's right. there. It's already on the disc. That's actually very important to me. If anyone knows me, if I'm kicking old school and the many years I've been doing this, my concern to this newer generation of gamers is they don't realize that if the internet goes down, the servers go down, the game's gone. That's right. It's gone. Even if uh, uh, a game changes ownership, licensing changes, it, there's a lot of weird things that can happen to where a game it's pulled. Can't, can be pulled. Even if you own it, supposedly own it, it can be like, it can like go a out. soundtrack, right? They got a soundtrack. Yeah. They, can't do it they, they pulled the game. That's right. But it, now with you have it burned on the disc or whatever media it's on, you own it. That's right. Forever. And since I'm a big fan of that, which is why my, my newest system is an Xbox, so I'd be happy with that. I'm also on the hardware side, because these games need the right controls to be played with it. Now, how long have you been doing this for? Well, we've been uh, gamers for gamers for about 15 years, um, and we've uh, been doing premium for three or four years. Um, all in, all in, the, all in the, the way of preserving physical media, um, we, you know, even at Gamers for Gamers, we're fixing consoles and peripherals that typically can't be fixed. Me and my oh, wife are both engineers. I didn't, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. How, do you, how do you guys with 3DO? I'm sorry, what did you say? The 3DO system. You know what you think about 3DOs? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't actually get them in very often, but yeah. My goal is, we'll talk after the video when I can get my voice. Yeah. Back. But so, first of all, I want to get you guys on, like, my show, Kick It Old School, one night. We'll talk about this some more. And I think what you're doing on the software side is extremely important for the preservation of, again, these are games, mm -hmm. but they're also artwork. It's mm -hmm. people putting blood, sweat, and tears into these games, and they deserve preservation for people who come 10, 20, 50 years down the road. So I want to thank you for doing this. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. Thank you. Just tried the Sindon Target Pro, correct? Yes. What do you think? I, I can't get over how accurate it is. It's, I was shooting guys from this size on the screen super accurately, and then the action on it makes it feel even better. I love it. It's super, super cool. And I promise you, he will get over it because he's going to get one and then he'll get over it. I'm buying one right now. <laughs> Stay in the wall. I 
feels incredible. It feels better than the original. That's it's nice, it's stable. I definitely like it. This is just so you know, CRS sticker not included. Oh, uh, that's fine. I get it. It should be included though. <laughs> it should be included as an add-on. All the buttons feel great, they're nice and solid. I still stink at the game, but hey, it feels good. <laughs> this is oh, awesome. this is from a time when games were oh, games were games. Yeah. <laughs> All good things always come to an end, but really not an end, just until next time. But in the meantime, let's look back. One last final thing I must say is I must give a huge shout out to my friend Jeff. Without Jeff, this event for me would not have been possible. This experience would not have been possible. Seeing all these people wouldn't have been possible. Jeff, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. That's it. Hold on. Well, it's after five o'clock on Sunday, and the booth is now completely empty. So, if you came to the show and you said hello, I appreciate it. For anyone who didn't make it to the show, maybe I can catch you at one of the other shows. But I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I want to say once again, with all these games we have here, they're just material things. Nothing takes precedence over family and friends and loved ones. Remember that. Reach out to them and say, you miss them, you love them, because tomorrow's been promised. But in between those times, but in between those times, remember, never too many games, but game on.